I watched The Boys Season 4, and here are my thoughts. So recently, I've pretty much had three shows I've been watching, like, every week, and that's been The Acolyte, ew, House of the Dragon, and The Boys, which those two are fucking great. But The Boys, there's something about it, man. Again, I love House of the Dragon. I'm, I'm glued to that shit. But The Boys, it was just a little bit different for me. I was so excited for each episode to come out, and again, glued to the damn screen, and I just didn't want the episode to end. More than ever with this season. I mean, you have so many new characters that get introduced, and they're all good. You got Jeffrey Dean Morgan as, honestly, I forgot his fucking character's name because obviously I pay attention. But it's Negan. It's fucking Negan. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is amazing in everything he's in and he's a welcome addition to this show. And then you have Sister Sage, Firecracker, um, Black Noir being played by the same person that played Black Noir before, but this time he can talk. Like, it's fucking awesome. I think this show went bigger and badder because they know they're coming up on the ending. Season five is going to be it, which honestly I love. I, I'm not, like, happy that my favorite show is going to be ending, but I feel like a lot of people would share the same sense that I would rather there be a satisfying actual conclusion than to just run it out forever. And though my absolute favorite show of all time is The Walking Dead, I can easily admit that that show dragged on way too long and still does not have a proper ending. So I'm praying to God that The Boys gives us that with season five, and I feel like season four set that up perfectly with a amazing ending. I love the ending of the show. Best finale so far in The Boys series. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Let me go ahead and say why I love this season so much, and a few things I didn't really like like as much, I would say Starlight was probably the number one thing that kind of just annoyed me a little bit. Now, Starlight's never been like my favorite character or anything, but I do feel like this season, mainly, she really feels fucking useless. Because she is. She goes through like a Spider-Man web block where she can't use her powers, which is usually, that that's always just kind of an annoying thing. And this show does kind of do some old school tropes, you know, like seeing shit that isn't there, you know, losing your fucking powers, stuff like that. But I feel like they use that stuff with Butcher's character way better, and they use this trope with Starlight that, I don't know, I just... I wasn't really that into. But even then, it's not like I hated her or anything. I just was like, you know what, you're kind of a weird character right now. I like the stuff that, you know, she had going with Firecracker, but that really doesn't, it, like, not, not that much happens with that. And then there's this whole shit with, like, you know, Starlight getting pissed at Huey about something that I don't even understand how somebody that's been through the shit that she's been through is getting on Huey and getting mad at him. And I love Huey. I love me some Hoobie Doobie. So you go after him, you're gonna piss me off. And I feel like Starlight just, I don't know, very weird character this season to me. I didn't actually mean to ramble on Starlight that much, but, you know, whatever. She's probably my least favorite part of season four, but my favorite part, oh man, there's a lot, actually. First of all, it does not really need to be said, but Homelander, played by Anthony, star is one of the best villains of all time i mean he is one of my favorite characters in the show just because every time i see him i obviously hate him and i'm scared about what the hell he's gonna do but i love like watching him so much because anthony star plays him so goddamn good and the character is probably the best written on the show to be honest now another one of my favorite parts is kamiko i mean played by karen fukuhara she is so fucking dope man i really got nothing else to say i mean she is my favorite character she makes me smile every time she's on screen she's funny without being able to talk i just i love her she's fucking awesome i love the direction they decided to go with kamiko this season and also another character that i think was just fantastic was a train you've had four seasons seasons of build for A-Train's character. He's the one that started this whole shit off, you know, running through Robin at the beginning of the very first episode of this of the series. That opened our eyes to how fucked up soups are and everything. I mean, the fucking first episode is just the perfect way to start a goddamn series and A-Train was a huge part of it and ever since then he's been on a slow plotting very satisfying redemption arc and it finally pays off this season. I can't wait to see what he does in season 5 and A-Train has become like just I think one of the better fleshed out characters in the entire show. They really killed it with him. Now a character that gets put through the fucking ringer I mean other than Butcher because you know he, he's really going through it is Huey. Huey goes through some shit this season man. I won't go into detail but man I just wanted to give him a hug. So many characters in this show, man. So many good ones. I mean, there's just really not a bad performance. I cannot pick out one person in the show that I looked at and I'm like, that is just like not good acting or they can't deliver the writing or whatever it may be. It just seems like perfect casting all across the board. They know who to pick for these characters and who to play them and I think it just works. I'm trying to think about anything I like failed to mention that should be mentioned. Um, The Deep, he's really just become like a comedic side piece type character, you know, comedic relief, which I feel like the whole show is funny anyway, so I don't really feel the need for like some 
guy purely there for humor, but I'm not going to be mad at it because he does make me laugh. And Black Noir, the same thing, you know, he's kind of just there for laughs. But Frenchie is a character I wanted to go ahead and give my two cents on, actually, because I feel like, you know, he starts gobbling this guy's knob named Colin, and honestly, that whole arc and his thing with, you know, with that guy, I don't know, I just didn't really find it that interesting. I felt like it was kind of forced and didn't really work for me. It was probably some of the more boring parts of a lot of the episodes, but I love where Frenchie's character leaves, so, you know, pretty much all is forgiven there. Mother's Milk is just kind of there. I mean, he's dope as fuck, but I mean, he's just kind of there, you know, going through the motions. He's just rolling with everybody. I'm trying to think of anything else, and I think that's pretty much it, man. I love this season from top to bottom. I mean, you know, nitpicks aside, you know, I have my issues with certain things. I don't think any show or movie is perfect. I mean, there's very few. The only movie or piece of media I would consider a perfect product is The Crow. But I feel like The Boys is pretty fucking high up there, man. Even with all the, you know, wild shit that they do, and I mean wild. I mean, obviously, this show is unlike any other. You see guys with fucking 30 foot dicks that can like strangle you. I mean, you have a guy with the powers of like duplicate from Invincible that makes each of his doppelgangers fucking eat each other's ass. So the guy's eating his own ass. Like, this show is so insane. And I think that's a big reason why I like it, because I never know what the fuck I'm gonna see. Some of it I wish I hadn't seen, but that's the beauty of it. The show's amazing, everything about it is fucking insane top to bottom, and you know, I had my problems with, you know, season three and stuff like that, and like the way that they finished it, and all these different things and nitpicks from this season, but bottom line, this show will always be one that I'm excited to watch, and I can't wait for season five. I can't believe we have to wait as long as we do but I am so fucking excited. With that being said though, if you haven't watched it, watch The Boys. That'll do it guys. Peace.